This is Mousy, my final project for my computer-aided technology class. <laughs> the assignment was to create a Roomba-type robot that could solve a maze. Um, it was a group assignment, but I guess you could say I took the reins on this one. Guys, here's the current design of the robot. Um, you can see its primary structure is made of corrugated paper. Um, and at the end of class, my group was feeling really confident about our design and proud of it. And then they're like, okay, I think we're gonna call this kind of good. And I kind of said, well, give it to, uh, let's pass it over here and I'm gonna take it back to my workshop, do a couple tweaks and uh, I'll bring it back. Um, we're scrapping this. The hardest part of this assignment is we had to use the cheap components they supplied us with. I quickly noticed that the motor gearboxes they gave us were a bit overpowered for this purpose, so I thought, let's see what happens if we gear it up to be twice as fast. I used this website called GearGenerator.com to generate all the gears for my projects. You basically just type in the number of teeth you want and it gives you an image of gears that are compatible with one another. I bring that image into Illustrator to evaluate the dimensions and then I 3D model them in my favorite 3D modeling software, Creo Parametric. Creo. I also made these gears helical, uh, which basically just means they look cooler. Our teacher is requiring that we use a marble for the third wheel and I modeled this and 3D printed it with my group, but unfortunately it is useless. I ended up getting the tolerances on the marble holder wrong a couple times, but that's the beauty of rapid prototyping. My professor just handed out the graded midterm two papers and um, question number two, name three additive manufacturing technologies. I ended up having to list resin something because I couldn't think of any. Um, this robot project, it's um, it's make or break. So let's, let's make it work. I used Illustrator to design the body of the robot and then laser cut it out of wood. One thing to keep in mind is we were only given a month to build this robot, which really meant that I was only going to spend a week on it, which really means it only came down to the last two days. I want to have my robot done by tomorrow, and I have to wake up pretty early, so earlier today I was thinking oh, I should probably get to bed at around 11.30 uh, p.m. It is 11.45 and the world didn't end, so I think we're going to do an all-nighter. Okay, so what just happened was pretty embarrassing. I was kind of stressed because I was like, ah, I'm out of black spray paint. I need to go to the hardware store. Whatever happened to my childlike wonder? There are other colors. Okay, 3D printers, 3D printing. The parts are extremely tacky from being spray painted. Workbench is full. And I am tired, so I'm gonna take a nap.
After putting together the gear assembly, it was clear that something was making the wheel bow out a little. I realized I didn't allow enough tolerance to allow the gears to mesh without pushing into one another. So I reprinted the smaller gear with walls that were slightly offset inward, which kind of fixed the problem. For the bumpers, we were provided these little push buttons. I knew I was gonna have to make bigger surfaces for these buttons to be able to contact a wall on coming at different angles. So I printed these guys, which were also purposely thin and flimsy to provide a little bit of cushion as they rammed into walls. I've actually run out of 440 bolts in my household, so I ended up having to steal some of them from one of my other robots. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission, and I want to help you. Will you stop? Dave, I'm afraid. At 7 a.m., I got it all together and then found out it didn't have enough power to spin the motors. Okay guys, I'll be the first to admit I was a bit ambitious with this one to two gear ratio. I shot for the moon and I fell short. At this point, I had to go to school and meet with my group and basically tell them, so remember how we had a robot that was driving last week? So the thing is, so it was finally the last night that I had to work on the robot, and I kid you not, I show up, I loosen the bolts a little, and it just starts working. scratch everything I just said about reaching the moon blah 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 we reached the moon here it is pretty proud of it um, the code is a mess like this thing cannot solve a maze another requirement is we had to use an ESP32 running micro Python <laughs> It has to navigate the maze by bumping into the walls, so you can't pre-program the solution to the maze, and they do check your code to enforce that. So the basic logic is, when I hit a wall, randomly turn 90 degrees to the left or right, unless I already turned within the last second, in which case turn 180 degrees. And that's what keeps it from getting stuck in corners. Those turn angles were not precise at all, which led to some interesting maze solving strategies. Yeah, this robot is pretty inconsistent, but fortunately, we only have to submit a video of our best run. So we kind of just ran it over and over until we eventually got lucky. <laughs> our top time was 9.73 seconds. And what that really means is that was the first time it solved the maze and then we kind of just stopped the recording. We're like, let's call that good. But yeah, we won the whole competition and uh, there are like 20 teams. So I guess you could say I'm like top of my class or something. Um, I don't mean to offend any of the other robots because they made a valiant effort, but let's just say they were no mousy. So yeah, we lost. Um, I just want to congratulate the winning team on cheating, I guess. Um, I don't appreciate that the teacher just accepted a sped up video of their robot. I also heard rumors that they like were using upgraded motors. I don't know, I just don't think it's good sportsmanship. Usually I feel some emotional connection to the robots I've built, but I'm going to be real. This guy is no son of mine. 
Um, I've been building Bobots since I was in like fourth grade. So this is, how do I say, uh, beneath me, but it's not like I'm going to school to learn about engineering. They just released the final grades and for this assignment, 18 points out of 18 points. And the professor left a comment, your bot did well. This is big, you guys. And drum roll please, final GPA for the class. 3.2, let's go. But yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, if you leave a suggestion on how to improve the design, I will block you. Um, that's not a joke. You know the drill. Like, comment, and um, what was I do with some? Subscribe.